Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth video in the series explaining how to do every single problem on your unit review in preparation for tomorrow's quiz. Here we are talking about converting an equation from standard form into slope intercept form, which is fancy talk for solve the equation for y. So we need to go to the equation, we need to locate the y term, and we need to protect it. Anything else on the same side as the y term needs to be moved to the other side of the equation. In this case, we need to move positive 2x. To move a positive number, we need to subtract 2x. That would cancel it out on the left side and move it to the other side where it would become a positive number. So we'd be looking at, I'm sorry, a negative number. So we have 3y equals negative 2x plus 18. Then to finish solving for y, we need to divide by 3. Whatever we do to that term, we must do to every term, leaving us with y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 6 as our answer. We're going to continue that process through all the other examples. So again, we find the y. Anything that's not y gets moved to the other side of the equation. So we would need to subtract 3x from each side of the equation. That would give us negative 4y equals negative 3x minus 12. Then we need to divide by negative 4. It's very important that you do not lose track of your negatives. Final answer here should be y equals 3 fourths x plus 3. Again, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. On to the next one. We need to get that y by itself. Now, this one could be a little bit tricky if we do not realize that x is, in fact, positive 1x, which means we need to subtract 1x from each side of the equation. That would give us negative 3y equals negative 1x plus 9. Then we would need to divide all three terms by negative 3. Again, be very careful. Do not lose that negative. Negative 1 divided by negative 3 is a fraction, but it is a positive 1 third x. And the positive 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So y equals 1 third x minus 3. On to the next one, we would get that 2y and protect it. We're going to move the positive 5x to the left by subtracting 5x from each side of the equation. That gives us 2y equals negative 5x plus 20. Then we divide both everything by 2 to get the y by itself, giving us y equals negative 5 halves x plus 10. On to the last one of this section. Again, that 7y is what we're trying to save. We're going to move the 6x to the other side of the equation, giving us negative 7y equals negative 6x plus 42. And we're going to divide by negative 7. That would give us y equals positive 6 over 7x minus 6. Thank you very much. Again, there will be more videos in the series for each additional topic. Thank you very much for your time and attention.